And here we have upon us a holiday lesbian movie. All right, what? Happiest Season, uh, starring Mackenzie Davis and Kristen Stewart. Okay, are you serious about the holiday lesbian part? It's a holiday lesbian movie for sure. Okay. So, here we go. Let's check this. I'm very happy, by the way. It's a holiday for me today. Here we go. I just woke up thinking about going home with you and got very excited about Christmas. I get to go meet the people that made my favorite person. Always take the symbol. Copyright claims lower than the sound. <laughs> Perfect relationship. She is my person, and I really want everyone hey, to know that. Hey, this guy from Schitt's Creek. Yeah, yeah. I left a gentleman alone in my apartment, so I'm tracking him to make sure he leaves. You're tracking him? Yeah, I track everybody. If the NSA can do it, so can I. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so excited. I can't believe I'm finally going to meet everyone. There's something that we should talk about. I know. I didn't tell my parents. And gay. So who do they think I am? This is Harper's orphan friend, Abby. Yes, of course. You're there. You're so brave. <laughs> you don't need to be. I cannot believe I've got all my daughters under one roof. So her parents believe their straight daughter brought home her lesbian friend for Christmas? Not exactly. They also think that I'm straight. Have they ever met a lesbian? <laughs> <laughs> it brings out the worst in everything. I've always skated circles around you. <laughs> I love it when they do this. You're such a cheater! It makes itself lie. No, what? Just be yourself. But don't lie. You're a very bad liar. Hello. Hi, Harper. This is Abby. Abby is my orphan roommate. We, I am an orphan, but we live together as friends. Um, like acquaintances. Oh, please stop. Yeah. To being in love with somebody that is too afraid to show the world who they are. Oh, what are you doing in the closet? Oh, oh, that was very on the nose. Are you their ex boyfriend? Yes, I am very sexually attracted to her. Mm, a female. I nailed that, and she is fabulous. <laughs> <laughs> All right, cool. That was cute. So many downvotes from all the uh, hardcore Christians that don't like lesbians. <laughs> don't know why. <laughs> I, don't know, I, I, I thought that was quite delightful, actually. It's, it's got a total of uh, 5.4 thousand votes. Right. And 1.3 thousand votes were downvotes. If you are open to watching a fun holiday trailer, I don't see anything wrong with this inherently. Like, if you don't like holiday films, like holiday comedy films, then I get it then fine. But why are you even watching this then? It's called Happiest Season. Like, why are you clicking on it? I am not inherently predisposed to watching films like this, mm -hmm. be it uh, something that is more innocuous, like from the 90s, uh, or whether it's a little bit more edgy, like uh, Love Actually or something like that. Like, Which is not even that edgy. I think that's some adult film stars in the film, you know, but a anywho, like, I'm not, like, predisposed to necessarily watching holiday Christmas movies, but if I were open to that more, I, this is a perfectly serviceable uh, yeah. holiday Christmas film with a dilemma that's n that you don't see very often in a holiday film. Well, the, the only thing that I, I can think of, I mean, uh, apart from one of the things that you said being like, oh, maybe it's the super conservative people who are like, oh, I hate that it's about two lesbians and they're the leads in this. Conversely, I wonder if maybe people in the LGBTQ community are like, oh, this is not an accurate representation of I the doubt experience. That. I seriously doubt that. I think I, it's cute. I am not a lesbian, but I didn't see anything that was like, I mean, You're trying- You're not a lesbian, but you love tr lesbians. Trying to, try, let me try to mansplain a little bit, okay? Okay, okay, so go on. So my, my whole thing is like, I'm looking at that and as objectively as possible going, because I, I try my best to look at something and ask, is this stereotyping in such a way that is degrading yeah. or offensive? And I'm like, I'm watching that and going, I don't really see anything that is offensive. This feels like the most innocuous lesbian film that has ever been made, as far as I can tell. Nothing talking about like sex scenes. The only thing that was referring to anything remotely sexual, as far as I can tell, was the actor from Schitt's Creek who was saying how he was very sexually attracted yeah. to Kristen Stewart. But like, it was it was just funny. Like, I don't know, one of my favorite rom-coms growing up was My Best Friend 
Meghan's wedding. Rupert Everett played Julia Roberts, you know, super fabulous, flamboyant gay friend. I'm loving Dan, Dan Levy's interpretation of this like gay best friend. He's a fun actor. He's super fun. Yeah. I like, we've only recently started watching Schitt's Creek, very late to the party, but like, he's one of my favorite characters and you, you really he's, enjoy he, him as well. He's my favorite character in the show, actually. <laughs> yeah, he's yeah. awesome. Every single moment when we laughed in this trailer, I think was because of him. Yeah. Like, he's just so funny. Yeah, I mean, I'm not a huge fan of Kristen Stewart necessarily. I don't know who Mackenzie Davis really is either. But so like, was she in the recent um, Terminator movie? Oh, sure, yeah, I yeah. Did, I didn't love that at all. I didn't all, realize how but, tall she was. Jesus. But the thing about it is, I feel like. Almost like being Asian and seeing Asians in, in film, American films specifically, it's almost like you're gonna take what you can get. We're finally in this era where it's acceptable to have these kinds of films. Not too long ago, we had um, that pen pal movie with the gay kid in high school. I didn't see it. Oh, Love uh, Simon? Love Simon, right. I didn't watch that, but yeah. like, that film would not have existed 10 years ago. This film wouldn't have existed 10 years ago. I, I mean, not remotely mainstream anyway. It would be like something obscure you see in the back of a blockbuster, but is Blockbuster more than 10 years old? Oh my God, it's okay, 15 years ago. So it's neat that we can finally have stories that are a little bit more open-minded. At its heart, it's still a rom-com, it's still a love story. And I think what I really liked about it was that, that kind of dilemma of like, I love you, but I'm not ready to come out to my family yet. I think you were saying that in the beginning, which is like, yeah, it feels like something that is maybe relatable to, to some people or even maybe a, a lot of people. Right. I, I don't know, obviously, cause like that's not my experience experience, but I can imagine that like, that's maybe something that happens. Right. The only thing that would have been, that would have made this fundamentally different for me from every other film relating to gay characters or lesbian characters, LGBTQ characters, is the fact that there is anything in the plot about them being lesbians. If they just took that out of the movie and made that not part of the dilemma the characters are facing in the story, yeah. that would have separated this from what you typically see in this genre. The genre of LGBTQ characters struggling with their LGBTQ Ness. If that wasn't part of the story, this would have made it way different. I mean, we're still in the throes of that change, so it's yeah. understandable, but I am longing for the day when, I, I, as a kid, I would say something similar. Like, this was something I, I, I'm thought of as a kid, so like, if anyone's offended by this, I apologize in advance. As a teenager, I was like, one day we'll be able to have like a gay Indian male character who's a superhero and there's no jokes about the fact that he's gay or Indian. Yeah. Like at all. Because oftentimes when you have a gay character, it's a joke. When you have an Indian character, it's a joke. Anytime you see an Indian, it's sort of like this evolution of Apu or, or some sort of like funny doctor. Most of the yeah. time, yeah, yeah, yeah. And so that's why I, like, I thought of that as a kid. And so that's why we're still in the throes of that change. And it's still a joke to be gay, to be lesbian, as opposed to that's just what the that's characters just, feel. Yeah. That's just their life. You know. That's that's their lens, yeah. but that's not like a huge part of the story. Right, but yeah. in any case, that aside, you know, we are still in that evolution as a society. I think that this is a perfectly serviceable story and it opens up that sort of dialogue for people who maybe are going through that and haven't come out of the closet yet to their family. Like I said, it seems quite delightful to me. I would happily watch that with a cup of hot chocolate and just enjoy. Yeah, Yeah. some good laughs. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, Dan, Dan Levy. Dan Levy! So you guys, hopefully you enjoyed that. Please let us know your feelings in the comments below. And check out Achar Kirk on the social media. Subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that bell icon. All notifications, please. I am Jabby Kuwait. This is Achara Kirk. Peace out.